guys welcome to my channel I thought that I would share with you today what I got for Valentine's Day um, and I don't want to like brag or anything but my boyfriend did an awesome job um, hello, Minas. Hello, Minas. Um, he did a great job of picking out things and it's a lot of beauty products as well um, it's more than I expected more than I deserve but I am so appreciative it was just really super sweet and some things I'm super excited about um, so I definitely wanted to share them with you guys hopefully um, you don't mind seeing a video like this and let me know down below did you get anything really cool for Valentine's Day or yeah let me know what happened. Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know. So I'm going to start off with like the cutesy little things and then I'll go into the meat of it later. So I got, of course, some like candies and things like that. I got a couple little hearts, Hershey Kisses and Reese's. Um, I already ate these. I <laughs> just had a few little Reese's cups inside. I've not gotten to my Hershey Kisses yet. So I did get those. Um, I also got this little candy heart or heart shaped box of candy <laughs> uh, it says valentine i'm nuts about you it has a squirrel on it i love cute things and he knows me really well and yeah this is pretty much i don't know if i should share this with you guys but this is what i do to heart shaped boxes of candy i ate the coconut one and then i just pretty much tore into the rest of them to see that i didn't really want to eat them <laughs> and yeah that's like a joke around here i pretty much i pretty much just eat the coconut one i don't know um, so yeah, I got that. He also got me, I love little stuffed animals. If you have, guys haven't seen, like I have, I have more stuffed animals than any grown woman should ever have. Um, but I don't care. I love them. I don't know. It's just really cute and sweet. Um, so he got me this one, which is, says hedgehogs. Um, so it's got some little chocolates in it, but he's a cute little hedgehog. Ooh, I love little animals. Like I'm, I'm like a child, so he gave me that one. He also gave me this one. It says, love you dearly, and it's got a little deer, and so cute, little forest creatures, so I'm, I know, I know it's silly, but I love them, I don't care. And a couple more cutesy things. He, I told him, no stuffed animals, okay? So, yeah. Uh, he also got me this, <laughs> which is a little octopus. She has her little legs and she has a bow and she's probably going to go in my vanity room because she's just too darn cute to not display. I mean, come on. Um, it's simple, but I love it. So let's put her up here. Let's put my little animals up here. Why not? There we go. There we go. Um, one more cutesy tootsie stuffed animal thing is this donut. And I think it is so cute. This will probably go somewhere in my vanity room as well. I mean, come on. It's really cute, right? So let's put that right there. Okay. Yeah. Phone case. So this one says love and has flamingos on it. I think that'll be really cute during the summer. Um, you know, flamingos make me feel beachy. He also got me the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. He got it in the shade Fair. I did tell him... Um, he asked me like what color I was and I was like, I think I'm the lightest color typically, um, which is fair. I do use this to brighten my face more than anything else. So of course, um, you know, center of the face, um, triangles under the eyes, that kind of thing. And I have not used it yet, but I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be great. I mean, everybody's raving about that one. I'm kind of late to the party with this one, but I've had concealers that I've been loving. So no big deal, but I am excited to try this out and hopefully it lives up to the hype. So I'm going to tell you what I got from Sugar Pill, which is what um, was kind of like the big Valentine's things. First, I'll show you the box. It's really cute. It says, hi, cutie. Um, and it's like one of those where you can turn the box inside out and he did do that for me. Um, so it's just kind of cute if you wanted to put stuff in it. I might. And he got me the Feline Fancy Makeup Collection, which is their Valentine, Valentine's Day edition. Um, if you didn't check out my Instagram post, I did my makeup with this. I kind of did it in like 20 minutes, so it wasn't like, oh my god, amazing. But the quality of this is so, so good. So I'll kind of show you what's inside. It's a little palette and then a liquid lip. So the palette looks like this. It has the same design on it. That is so creative. I mean, you guys have to take a look at that because it is so different. Like, I don't know if those are supposed to be teeth or like little fangs. I don't know what these teeth are doing down here. But it is so cute and it's so different and creative. And the back has little candies on them as well. It says, a sweeter than sweet collection of four romantic vegan eyeshadows that blend perfectly together. And it says, perfectly. Like a kitty. 
So I really enjoyed that. I'll show you the shadows inside. Now the mirror, um, I'm trying not to blind you and still show you as two little heart shapes, which I think was really cute. And then you have your four shadows. I will go ahead and swatch those for you guys. Um, cause I think this was still available when I checked. Okay. That's a wink. This is kiss kiss. This is swack or sealed with a kiss. And that's a really pretty like pink, but it's got a crazy shift to it. And then text me, which is like a great transition color. I didn't get much of that one. I like that that one's soft though. That way you really get a nice transition. Um, so there you are. So really, really pretty. I love them. And then I especially love the lip. And this one is called Strange Love and it's just their original packaging. Um, yeah, I love this color. I'm definitely going to swatch this one for you guys because it is crazy. Now, what struck me more than the color, and I'll give you guys another look at that, but what struck me more than the color itself was the quality of this. I literally, like, went over my lips one time, and I, I dipped in just a tiny bit more just to intensify it a bit, but it was so easy to apply. I loved their doe foot applicator. Um, everything was nice about it, and it stayed on really, really well. I loved it. Um, so I'm definitely going to look into purchasing more sugar pill items. If you guys have any favorites, let me know. Um, I know I want to get Trinket. That lip is so pretty and there's a lot of other things I want to try. So yeah, that is that beautiful. And then uh, it came with a little sticker too. Sugar pill sticker. That reminds me of like in the like late 90s like those vending machines that had the crazy stickers in it you guys remember those um that's exactly when I saw this I was like oh my god I feel like I'm at Pizza Hut again <laughs> with the vending machine and like asking my mom for quarters so random but okay so the biggest and probably most crazy thing that he did was get me a ton of Morphe brushes I just put them in one of these containers uh, but I will go through and tell you guys which brushes I got and he was so, so overboard with this. Um, I did not expect this at all, especially the number of brushes that he got me. Um, so really all that I need for my Elite collection of all the ones that I wanted, the only ones I need now are like a few face brushes and that's really it. So he got me E9, which is like the flat, looks like a flat foundation brush. Of course they don't say what they are. So, I mean, I'm gonna purpose them however I see most fit. Um, I also got E10, which is like another flat one. Um, that's E10 there. E17, which is like a small fluffy eyeshadow brush. Got E13, which is a little bit flatter, but still kind of fluffy for blending. Got this little baby E36, which is like, that would be good for like under the lower lash line, that kind of thing. Um, got E16, which is this really flat one. Um, now, I think I saw, I saw someone use this to like stamp some powder to prevent the eyeshadow from going too crazy. I think I saw Jaclyn Hill. I don't know if it was this brush in particular, but it was one really, really similar to this. Um, and I actually used this to do my nose contour um, yesterday, and it actually worked kind of well too. So, interesting brush you could use for multiple purposes. I got E8, which is a larger, um, kind of fluffy brush. I got E30, which is another, like, super fluffy one, a little bit bigger. Um, it's got a little bit more of, like, a longer, fluffy bristle. <laughs> um, anyway, E27, which is a really great crease brush. You can see that one's, like, kind of fluffy on the end, a little bit more rounded. Got this E61, which I think is supposed to be a highlight brush. Correct me if I'm wrong. I got E37, which I think is a lip brush. I got E35, this teeny tiny one. That would be great for detailing a liner. I got E11, which is this angled flat brush you could use for a liner. I got the brow brush, which is another angled one with a spoolie on the end. I actually needed a brush for my dip brow that I'm about to need to start using. And then E39, which is another little tiny one. This may be the lip, lip brush. I don't know. I'll use it for whatever I think I need to use it for. Um, E45, which is like a smaller one. That would be great if you wanted a really like sharp contour and then you could blend it out afterwards. 
and then E19, which is a longer one. Hell, that may be the lip brush. I don't know. I'm going to use that probably for lips to kind of like a detail and clean up the edges. That would be nice. And then finally E15, which is like a dense, um, tightly packed brush, which is really nice. And I've already started using these and I am in love with them. Um, I debated like which brushes I wanted to get from Morphe, but I wanted, um, I just wanted a really good quality and I'm kind of weird about my brushes all matching. So I decided to go for now with the Elite collection and he got me a total of 18 brushes. And if you guys saw my Morphe haul, I had four. So now I have 22 Elite brushes. Crazy. I did not expect to have that many that soon. Um, it was so, so generous of him to pick these up. And he did not use a coupon code, I asked. And I was like, no, because, I don't know, I'm kind of frugal that way. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I got for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day as well. Um, I hope you got some good things and had some time to share with your loved ones, which is the most important thing. Um, so guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.